And Moline police have arrested a man for shooting and killing two teenagers on May 5th. Jonathan Fong has been following the updates in this investigation. Today he joins us now live from Moline on what police are saying about this case. Good evening, Jonathan. John, the police chief says after weeks of following leads, including searching two locations in East Moline and Davenport, they now have a suspect in custody. Take a look at your screen. This is 20 year old Israel Martinez from Davenport. He's charged with two counts of first degree murder. You may recall earlier this month, police found 19 year old Zachary Mikey and 17 year old Giovanni Flores dead at this home on 31st Street. They both had gunshot wounds to the head. Now, Police say hours before that, they responded to a noise complaint over a house party there. Chief Darren Galt explained some of the investigation process, but also gave a stern warning to those in the community considering criminal acts. 16 days of relentless pursuit of justice, hundreds of leads and interviews, 16 days of agonies for the families not knowing. I'm proud of the work done by the officers of the Moline Police Department. What I can tell you is if you commit acts of violence in the city of Moline, we will hunt you down. Now this shooting wasn't the only one in Rock Island County this month. Two other men in their early 20s were also killed in Rock Island and East Moline. The violent crime has the police chief asking the community for help. Why is there so much gun violence in the community? Why are our young people involved in such escalating crime. I don't have the answer to that. I hope somebody in the community does. Now, Chief Galt says investigators do know the motive behind the shooting, but are not ready to release specific details at this time. He says they want to make sure that the case carries on to trial without any issues. For now, live in Moline, Jonathan Fong, WQAD News 8. All right, Jonathan, thank you. And in a statement, the family of Zachary Mikey said they are grateful for the community support. The family of Giovanni Flores also said, quote, although we know our fight for justice is far from over, we are confident that our community will stand strong behind us for the sake of our children and families.